Well, in my novel, The Aquarians, I make a, uh, a connection between this phenomenon that has been growing throughout the world for about the last 20 years, maybe longer, uh, and it's called the 11-11 phenomenon. And uh, it sounds strange if you've never heard of it, and I'll, I'll take a second just to describe it. It uh, is you going around your day and being triggered to look at a digital clock or a device that has the numerals 1111 on it and notice it in a heightened aware way. And it makes no logical sense why you would be triggered to look at a clock. And some people say they only look at a clock at 1111, either AM or PM. And privately for the last 20 years, many of these people, myself included, almost thought you were going crazy because not only did you notice 1111, but you started attaching meaning to it. And that makes absolutely no sense. Why would you attach any kind of meaning to seeing any kind of number on a digital clock? And that meaning was the spirit world and our three-dimensional world are kind of merging. And this 1111 somehow was this gateway, this intersection between the two um, symbolized by nothing more than these digital numerals. If you remember that movie Close Encounters when the, the character Richard Dreyfuss character was getting implanted with his vision of a, a flat topped mountain and he knew it meant something but he didn't know what? Well that is really happening in real life. These people are, are getting this implant of this 1111 imagery triggered by seeing these clocks. It's a true phenomenon because they're attaching similar meaning to it, like something is something big is coming down the pipes. S uh, this moment of transition is is occurring or getting ready to happen, and there's no logical exp explanation why we would think that, but we do. And so we, the numbers are growing. People are connecting on Facebook and MySpace every day. More and more people are connecting to this 1111 vision that ties in perfectly with the end of the Mayan calendar paradigm shift vision or the age of Aquarius vision. These start becoming themes that are interlocking with each other. And here's the crazy part. As I was doing my research on the end of the Mayan calendar, and now I was starting to write about the age of Aquarius in my story, I'm doing internet research. And on one of the Mayan calendar end sites, they're talking about the 1111 phenomenon. And I'm like, well, why, why would they be mentioning that? And they had a link to the U.S. Naval Observatory, which is the U.S. branch of the government that studies the tracking of planets and the change of seasons, and they assign the moment that these events, solstices and equinoxes and season shifts, will occur. Well, the winter solstice of 2012, the very event that ends the Mayan calendar, the U.S. Naval Observatory does their scientific exact predictions and realizes that it's going to happen at 11.11 in the morning Greenwich Mean Time or Universal Mean Time. And I was blown away when I first read that and saw that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I mean, these things are coming together like a, a script for a novel or a movie. I, you can't write this stuff that these things are speaking to each other. And um, so I can't even tell you the excitement that I feel still talking about this.